For the last 14 months, I've been investing $20 every single day into this high yield dividend stock. Now, not only am I going to show you guys my results, but in the last video that I showed you, there was a comment that said, hey, it sounds good. You're making these dividends and all, but you're not showing us exactly how to set it up. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how the, the results of me investing $20 every single day into a high dividend yield stock and i'm going to show you guys how to set it up the reincurring investment yourself on different brokerages because it's, it's reoccurring investment is pretty simple you set it up once you let it go you do not have to check on it every single day for you guys that don't know what reincurring investment is basically dollar cost averaging inside of the stock market dollar cost averaging is when you buy a certain stock every single day or every single week or every single month you have a set time and amount on buying the stock no matter what if the price is high if the price is low if you want to invest every monday of the month you can invest every monday of the month that way sometimes you're catching the highs of these stocks and sometimes you're catching the lows of these stocks so eventually over time it will average out over time to where you're buying the highs you're buying the lows and you have your median right there to where you're not too busy taking too much time out of your day trying to time the market just trying to time the market on the highs and trying to time the market on the lows and take out all of the guesswork to where you just go ahead and average yourself out over a couple of years and that's dollar cost averaging and these brokerages set it up so easy to where you can have reincurring investments to where you could dollar cost average at just a click of a button so let's just go ahead and dive into these results how much dividends i'm making per month how much i made last year how much i'm expecting to make next year now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it up but before we dive into it this video is brought to you by moo moo sign up now by clicking the link down in the description if you sign up with that link you can get up to 15 16 free stocks deposit 100 dollars, you can get up to 15 16 free stocks um it's an amazing opportunity to get your investment and journey started also there's going to be a link in the description to weeble you sign up with weeble deposit any amount of money you can deposit one penny if you want to um and I think you can get up to 12 to 15 free stocks on Weeble. With those free stocks inside Weeble, you could keep them inside of your portfolio and decide to use it. Or you could sell off all of those free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money, guys. Both of those links are going to be down in the description. Do not miss out on those amazing opportunities. So even if you do have a Robinhood account already, even if you do have a Moomoo account already, even if you do have a Weeble account already, pick one of those brokers, guys. Do not miss out on those free stocks opportunities. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. Here we are on QYLD. As you guys can see, I've been investing $20 every single day. So my average price on QYLD is $16.96. The current price is $16.73. Um, over the lifetime that I have been doing this, which is 14 months, I've invested total of $400 a month. That's $20 a day, $100 a week, and $5,820 over the lifetime that I had this open. And I started in on August 8th, 2022, and I, I accumulated 343 shares of QYLD. Now we take a look at QYLD right here. You guys can see that it's, it's not it's not the best stock it is a high dividend yield stock if we take a look at the dividend yield uh, it's not on here but it's around 14 where is it at okay it doesn't show it shows their top 10 holdings but it is around a 14 percent dividend yield which is a it's extremely high now what qyld is a cover call 100 cover call nasdaq etf if you don't know how to do cover calls they do it for you so this is a good beginner etf until you actually learn how to do cover calls yourself once you learn how to do cover calls yourself you do not need this etf inside of your portfolio but for entertainment purposes only i invest 20 dollars every single day for you guys for you guys can learn so go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because i'm literally risking my money on not the best etf but a high dividend yield etf because it's exciting for you guys go ahead and hit that thumbs up button go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine i could bring to you guys more cool videos like this now we take a look at qyld i am down 1.53 percent around 100 dollars but on the grand scheme of things that's nothing because i made a lot more in dividends and i actually reinvest my dividends to help me make more money in the future so we scroll all the way down now let's start at the bottom down here and i'm not gonna show you guys how much i made last month until we get to the top well that won't take too long but as you guys can see i started off making three dollars and 78 cents per month in qyld i reinvested that the next month i made seven dollars and ten cents thirteen dollars seventeen dollars twenty two dollars twenty six thirty thirty five forty one forty four fifty one dollars fifty seven dollars fifty nine dollars and now 
in the month of September, I made $63.61 every single month from dividends. So over these last one, two, three, four, five, 14 months, right? Over the last 14 months, I made a total of $470-ish dollars in some sense, right? So I made around $470 in the last 14 months in dividends. Dividends is by far the most passive form of income that is i do nothing at all but set up this reincurring investment and i'm making 470 dollars yes i am down 1.53 percent but i made 470 dollars so i am in the profit so if we take my last month of 63 dollars and 31 cents go to the calculator 63 dollars and what 31 cents times 12 if i was to stop reinvesting my dividends and do nothing at all over the next year i will make 759 dollars and 72 cents in dividends without reinvesting my dividends by doing nothing at all if i was to stop investing twenty dollars a day if i was to stop reinvesting twenty dollars a day if i was to stop reinvesting my dividends from here on out unless they cut their dividends from here on out i will make 759 dollars every single year i don't know about you guys but that would buy me a nice little hotel room a nice little airbnb for my vacation so i could take these dividends and have a nice little sweet vacation every single year just off of dividends that is the the beauty of the most passive form of income there is dividends now let me show you guys exactly how to set it up thank you to the commenter that brought it up that i need to show you guys so on Robinhood, it's pretty simple guys you want to go to any stock let's just click uh let's type in spy you want to go to any stock so here we are on spy you can go to any stock and you want to hit trade buy and then at the top right where it says shares you could go down to reincurring investment right under the conditions orders you click that right there all right so here you go you can set it on monday through friday every single market day you can set it for every week it'll invest every thursday you can set it for every two weeks um, it'll invest every thursday or you can set it for every month it'll invest every fifth of the month so like i said guys this dollar cost average this reincurring investment is very very simple and let me show you guys how to do it on Weeble. That link is also down in the description. All right, so on the market order, you want to hit continue. And then you're going to type in your dollar amount. You can type in $5. I believe on Robinhood, you can go as little as $1 a day. So it's literally no excuse, guys. There's something that you buy for a dollar a day. You could buy gum every single day. If you buy Starbucks every day, Starbucks is around 3 to $4. You could just change your diet, change your habits, and invest those $3 into starbucks company every single day other than buying starbucks every single day until their dividends pay you enough to where starbucks is paying you to buy their own starbucks you know what i'm saying so you can invest any amount like that and then you just hit continue and put your order through all right so here we are on weeble we're gonna hit um scan let's go to the same one spy you just type in any stock that you want and other than hit trade you want to hit the three dots at the bottom right you hit those three dots at the bottom right and there it goes reincurring investment you click that all right so now you type in the dollar amount that you want to enter you can invest a minimum of five dollars every single day into spy you hit okay or you can invest 25 dollars. you can invest 22 dollars. you can invest any amount that you want but let's just say uh five dollars for now and then after you hit okay you'll put your order through and it's just that simple guys all right so here we are on the compound interest calculator let's look at what it would look like a couple years down the line let's say we started off with a thousand dollars um we invested what was it four hundred dollars a month into qyld and the years of growth let's say for the next 20 years estimated growth rate is the dividend um yield the dividend yields like 4.5 percent and there <laughs> and there it goes guys um we're just investing 20 dollars every single day over the next 20 years you will have invested a total of ninety-seven thousand dollars, and you will be in profit this is without reinvesting your dividends at all this is without the stock going up at all you will be in profit um four hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars and your total balance would be five hundred and seventy six thousand dollars you would be half a million a little bit over half a million there just from setting your dividends once and forgetting it and it'll probably be a little bit more than this well it will be more than this if you actually reinvest your dividends and there we go dreamers if you guys want me to continue to update you every single month on um my reinvestment dividend journey um, not only am I doing QYLD, I'm doing SPY, no, I'm doing VOO, I'm doing QQQ, and now I'm doing Apple. So if you guys want to keep up with that, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button that lets me know that you like these videos. And also subscribe because um, when I drop this Apple one, when I drop this QQQ one, when I drop this VOO one, you guys don't want to miss out 
on those amazing videos. So if you don't want to miss out on amazing content like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to go down to the comment section and let me know if you're doing any reincurring investments yourself. Are you dollar cost averaging on any dividends? Are you dollar cost averaging on any stocks that you love right now? Let me know which ones down in the comment section. And who knows, I might do a whole series over one of the comments that you guys suggest down in the comment section because that's why I get my video ideas just like this video idea commented it from um one of the subscribers so i really appreciate you guys more than you can even imagine um do not forget to go down to the description click those links to weeble click those links to mumu sign up get those free stocks even if you already own one of the others get those free stocks guys do not miss out on free money <laughs> Free money is free money. Who knows? You could probably get one of those big stocks like Apple, Google, Tesla. Who knows? It could be an amazing kickstart to your journey. So don't miss out on amazing opportunities like that. But yeah, if you do want to be a part of a great community, go ahead and join my Patreon. My Patreon is going to be pinned down in the comment section, right? Um, over there in the Patreon, I post every single time I buy a stock, sell a stock, my option trades. And we also have pro day traders in there. Uh, we will have three pro day traders in there now that post their day trades every single day so if you want to be a part of a community of traders and investors that want to be financially free just like you don't forget to click that link down in the um, pinned comment section to join the patreon which takes you over to my discord but other than that guys i can't wait to read you guys comment section i can't wait to see what you guys are dollar cost averaging in if you never heard of dollar cost averaging in let me know down in the comment section if you plan on doing it in the future but other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.